I guess we can start. Hello guys, welcome to As Your Big Sister with your host, me, Asia, my queen. That is me, that is she. I am where I want to be. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'm feeling really happy. I'm feeling very grateful, very cuddly. I got my hoodie on. I'm just feeling comfy. So guys, I wanted to get on here and talk about ways we can be confident girls in 2024. These are some very easy things to get done. No, why am I lying? These aren't easy things to get done. They're very obvious things but in a way difficult to get done, okay? Sorry for lying, I apologize, God forgive me. A lot about how we feel about ourselves is a direct reflection of what we allow in our space and what we give time to. Yeah, if we're giving time to it ain't, you guys know, you guys know what I'm about to say, uh, ain't S-H-I-T, mother effer, I don't want to cuss this early in the podcast because I'm blessed. If you're giving time, energy to something that ain't shit, it doesn't matter what it is, okay? It can directly reflect how you feel about yourself. Yeah, because when you lay out your day every day, you're like, oh my God, I spent four hours on the phone with this bastard arguing. Have you guys ever done that before? (laughs) Four hours arguing? That's crazy, insane. I've done it, I've been there, okay? So we're constantly giving our time to things that just ain't shit. What is that going to do, you ask? It makes us feel that way as well. So the more and more we allow these things to exist within our world, baby, because this is your world. They're just living in it. Don't forget that. When you continuously allow these negative bastards to be in your world, you become a negative bastard. (laughs) But honestly, have you ever, okay, there's been times I've had an amazing day. Okay, and I know I have to go visit somebody that I know loves to gossip and not even the fun gossip where we're like kind of being funny, the jokes are hitting. I'm talking about the nasty gossip, the gross gossip, the damn bitch, don't, do you hate this person or something? You go over this person's house and your day is just fucking ruined. Your anxiety is through the roof. That can create a horrible day, and you know what a horrible day can do? It could create a horrible three days. That could create a horrible week. That could create a horrible two weeks. And bitch, you look down and you're like, wow, I've been depressed for six months. (laughs) Right? So we have to be careful on who we choose to experience us because we're amazing. We're awesome. I'm going to give you guys some things that I've worked on this year that I am also going to be working on in 2024 to help with my confidence. First things first, this is hard. This is hard. Are you ready? Have your mind be stronger than your feelings. I like them. They're just so cute. They're just so, oh my God, I think they're so cute. What did they do? Okay, what did they do? That's what your mind's gonna tell you. Cause the feelings, the feelings are gonna remind you when you guys were sitting on the couch watching Best Man Holiday, but your mind is going to tell you what things are. There's been times that I had, I was leading with my feelings one day and Next day, led exactly with my mind. 
was on the phone with this bastard on Tuesday, back blocked on Wednesday. Because sometimes your feelings cloud your mind. <laughs> You're like, oh my God, what did I do yesterday? You weren't drunk, you weren't hot, nothing. It was just feelings. Your feelings will have you feeling drunk though. Don't get me wrong, they will do that. So every day, when your feelings start getting involved, it, oh, so think, where's my brain? Oh, brain, come back into my head, please. Because, ooh, like I said, them feelings will fog up your brain. They will go all the way up your pussy up, into the top of your head. Okay, second thing. Second thing that I am bringing into 2024 to help me be the confident ass bitch that I am today is I'm going to bring the paperwork. You're asking, what's the paperwork? The paperwork is proof as to why you are who you say you are. If you guys listen to me at all, you know I hate a mouthy bastard. I hate a mouthy person. I hate a I'm a I'm a do this. Oh yeah, I'm a I'm a I'm a put I'm a do ah I'm a be I'm a be black eyed peas enough. I we're not doing this. Okay. The I'm a bees, I'm a do, I don't care. I like paperwork. And your brain likes paperwork. Okay, so you could say all these affirmations. I love affirmations. I say them all the time. It's not that they don't work, but your brain's like, okay, can we have proof? I like to see you are all these things. So you're like, I want to be confident. What does confidence look like to me? For myself, confidence looks like Someone who has goals and also goes after them. I want to write a book. What am I doing to write a book? I want to go back to school. And this is this is real. I want to go back to school. So I was like, okay, right now I cannot afford it. So I'm going to sign up for these free online classes on Coursera and take some classes there. Right? So these are goals that I'm going after and picking at every day. As I'm picking at these goals, I'm getting closer and closer to getting to them, which puts my brain in this place where it's like, oh, you can do so many things. This is so cool. You are so awesome. This is what I've been looking for to prove to me that you are actually a confident person. Another thing. <clears throat> journal guys we've got to journal it keeps you in control and allows you to monitor your feelings the other day I was feeling a real deep sense of jealousy of somebody oh I can't believe I'm sitting here admitting this but I was feeling so jealous of this person it's on Instagram I was just like, damn, why can't my podcast be as big as this other person's podcast? It was just, you know, being human. We get caught up. I was feeling it one day, woke up the next day, was still feeling it, had been feeling it for a couple of days, had been feeling it for about three, four more days. And I was like, oh, this is going to become a problem because if you just sit there and allow your feelings to cook and cook and cook, they can manifest in the physical world where you're probably going to start being mean to certain people, may have negative feelings towards certain people because you allowed these feelings to just sit and grow. And you were, and you know, I was constantly going Instagram, so I was feeding those feelings so I got out my journal and just started writing I'm like I'm feeling insecure I'm feeling so jealous I don't know why I'm feeling this way I started praying on it and not specifically for it to go away but for me to figure out what I was feeling and the reasons why I was feeling this way and what brought me to feeling that way because I don't want to 
knock myself down for feeling jealous. I want to figure out what it is that's making me feel these negative feelings, which goes into the next thing. You have to be easy on yourself and allow yourself to make mistakes. Not only allow yourself to make mistakes, but invite them often because you need to not only experience things to grow as a confident person, because as you experience things, you have more to talk about and having knowledge of tons of different things really does grow this sense of confidence because you feel like you have something to give to people. And us as people, that's what we want to do. And that's what we're here for is to give an exchange. So when we feel like we have a lot, we feel better about ourselves. But we also have to be nice to ourselves because we're going to make mistakes whether we like it or not. And you talking to yourself, telling yourself, oh shit, why the fuck are you doing this dumbass shit? But you're knocking yourself down. You have to have patience with yourself and you have to understand that this shit happens. Like literally talk to yourself as a five-year-old because five-year-old you is always within you. So you're just cussing out a five-year-old. Think of it like that. I do a lot of talking to myself as a kid. Because I do that, I also... Another thing that I want to take into 2024 to help me be a confident person is talking to myself and giving myself the advice I would give my little sister. Would I tell my little sister to press send on that text message? I would tell her, if you don't block that nigga now. (laughs) If you don't block that motherfucker now. (laughs) Like... The advice I give my sister, like, I be telling her strict, no chances, baby. I think my sister is so amazing, so great, so beautiful. Why should she just be giving out chances? I'm so confused. So as I'm cussing out my sister, I'm sitting here like, oh, yeah, bitch, you got to say that to yourself. That's why this podcast is so amazing for me, because as I'm telling you guys, like, uh, leave them alone. Take care of yourself. It's reminding me to do the same thing because I can't just be on this motherfucker telling y'all, um, get it together. And I'm just not getting it together. Last but not least, wear your favorite outfit and wear it often. Bitch, I don't care how many, I don't care if you wore that shirt yesterday, clean that bitch and wear it again. If it makes you feel good, wear that. Okay. I've been in the office at work and the girls been loving my fits. I'm so sorry. I've been eating. Boom, boom. Walking in. She's a bad man. Majama. Just as fine as she can be. Yeah, Looking so good. The first day someone complimented me, I said, period, thank you. The second day I was like, okay, I gotta make sure I put that shit on again. Now, every day I got to put that shit on because there's an expectation, okay? There's an expectation for me to show up and show the fuck out. I can't slack no more. I can't go into that bitch looking crazy. Not ever again because of that one day. (laughs) But it has just helped me. Not only the compliments, because I love compliments. (laughs) Compliment me, please. Not only the compliments have made me feel good, but it's made me feel good that I've put effort into myself. Even if it was just a quick 15 minute makeup shebang and a shirt that makes me feel nice, confident, comfy. And actually, let's not have that be the last thing that 
we are taking into 2024 to build our confidence. I want to add something else. Compliment people and compliment people often. It'll make you feel so good to see the smile on somebody's face after you told her, girl, you put that shit on. My boss got a haircut the other day. I said, girl, you better take that bang and put it on a thing. It made her feel so good. And the fact that her face lit up the way it did, it made me feel so good. We need to understand that energy transfers and it transfers quickly. When people feel good, they just want to make other people feel good. That is just, again, that's just the way humans work. I don't know why. I'm just a girl on YouTube, okay? I don't know. I don't know. So we're going to go through this list one more time just so we know what we're going to be taking in for next year. We are going to have our minds be stronger than our feelings. We are going to come with the paperwork, okay? We are going to come with the proof that we are who we say we are, and that's confident guerreros. We are going to journal, okay? Negative, positive, in-between feelings, it does not matter. We don't judge. We are going to write them down. We are going to be nice to ourselves. Talk to ourselves nicely through mistakes, times we don't show up the best. We are going to live by the advice we would give to our little sisters. We are also going to put that shit on. And even if we got to double put that shit on, we wear that shirt again, don't matter. And lastly, we're going to compliment people and compliment them often. Thank you guys for listening. Thank you guys for being here. Don't forget to tell people that I'm beautiful, sexy, and smart. My name is Asia, my queen. This is As Your Big Sister. Bye-bye.